We're unlocking the secrets as we take you inside the making of King Kong 360 3D. It is the original King Kong movie from 1933 that made me want to become a filmmaker. I saw that film on television when I was about nine or 10 years old, and it was such a revelation to me that a movie could inspire, could fill me with a sense of adventure, a love of fantasy to such a profound effect that I, I literally wanted to become a filmmaker from the moment I saw the movie. Um, and not only a filmmaker, I wanted to make movies like King Kong. Giant gorillas, dinosaurs, lost islands. It's got every imaginative, wonderfully exciting um, type of, of, you know, fantastical film storytelling that I could imagine. Since bursting onto the big screen in 1933, King Kong has become one of the most powerful and enduring icons in cinematic history. His legacy expands over seven decades, transcending the medium and elevating the colossal giant into a pop culture phenomenon. Keeping that legend alive, Universal Studios Hollywood has maintained a constant home for the beloved beast. Since his dramatic debut in 1986, the 30-foot-tall, 7-ton animatronic Kong quickly became a much-loved fixture on the Universal backlot, terrifying millions of studio tour guests for over 20 years. Well, over the years, I, I, you know, I visited Universal um, as a tourist, uh, and then more recently, you know, when we were working on our movie, and so I got to experience the old Kong attraction, so I was quite familiar with it. That attraction for its time was uh, pretty groundbreaking. Employing the most complex animatronics and special effects of their time, Universal ride creators helped raise the bar in the world of theme park design. The banana breath scented gorilla was an innovative marvel and truly a fan favorite until... But today, Universal Studios, a sprawling Hollywood movie and tourist icon, was swept by a massive fire that destroyed the popular King Kong attraction. Immediately after the fire, we began looking into how to bring Kong back to Universal. It's many years later, it's time to reimagine Kong in a different way. It's time to bring him to the public in a way that's never been done. Answering that call, King Kong has risen from the ashes of the devastating backlot fire as Universal ride creators raise the bar once again in creating the next generation theme park experience. The old King Kong experience that we had on the lot was uh, very much a different experience. In this version, we've got a really up-to-date story to tell with King Kong and the technology has come such a huge distance. Now we can tell that story in a way we've never been able to tell it before. Kong can move fast, he can move around us, he can move in a quick and natural way that surpasses just about anything we can do with sets and robotics, even today. Seizing the opportunity to develop the most immersive and technologically advanced theme park experience, Universal continues their tradition of collaborating with Hollywood's leading filmmakers. We reached out to Peter Jackson and uh, on a video conference, and the conversation went something like, we got this idea to do an attraction, and boom, he was gone. He just started going with it and had already formulated ideas like he'd been thinking about it for years. It was almost like he already had it in his head. You know, it was certainly a surprise when the phone call came um, asking me to be involved, I must say. A surprise and a thrill because, hey, I get to, to spend a little bit more time with my best buddy, King Kong. Peter is sort of the ultimate guardian of Kong. He's always loved uh, the 1933 version, he dreamed about it as a child, was able to bring it to life with modern technology and it was such a natural okay. to take it the next step and bring it into an experience that we could share with our guests. I thought it would be cool if there'd be some possibility of updating the Kong attraction to basically follow along the lines of the movie that we made. Under the guidance of cinematic genius Peter Jackson, the Universal creative team began the monumental task of bringing King Kong back to life and more real than ever at Universal Studios Hollywood in King Kong 360 3D. Coming this summer to Universal Studios Hollywood.
We're unlocking the secrets as we take you inside the making of King Kong 360 3D. Like with a lot of things we do, you know, it's a, a little bit of evolution and a little bit of revolution. And, and in, in this case, it's a whole lot of revolution. When Universal Studios Hollywood decided to bring back the legendary King Kong, designers made an unwavering commitment to make him more real than ever. And with that, the development of King Kong 360 3D began. When we approached our version of Kong, we really put a lot of thought into the character and personality of Kong. We wanted him to look like a terrifying, fierce gorilla. He also has a really big heart that goes with it. And that's a piece that we want to capture in this experience. The most important design feature with Kong are his eyes. The Kong's eyes are wonderfully expressive. They're, they're, they're full of emotion. The way that his eyes are like a window into his personality. Now that we've established Kong and his persona that way, we can draw on that, even in the short time that we have available in the ride. And I think the fact that he's, he's larger than life physically and, and in terms of the mythology will play wonderfully in the giant scale of this event. To bring King Kong beyond the cinema and into your face, creators went as far as enlisting a show producer with a unique background of working with primates. It's the team's attention to authenticity, meeting advanced technology, that has created realism unique to this theme park experience. When I found out I'd be working with King Kong, I was thrilled. Um, 20 years ago, I went and sat with gorillas myself and had my own close-up encounter with the silverback. To be able to kind of combine, you know, an animal behaviorism background with a company like Weta that's gonna bring all this to life, it's a great combination, work and pleasure. The up-close and personal interaction of King Kong prompted Universal Creative to examine all aspects of this magnificent creature, devoting research into the way he moved, the smell of his breath, and the literal feel of his wrath, all in a grand-scale effort to make the encounter as real as possible. That's what would be called as if Kong or the T-Rex is... <sighs> this heightened interactive experience allows designers to take the audience to a never-before-seen area of the cinematic world, crawling with dangerous predators and one famous ape. King Kong 360 3D traps guests in the tangled jungles of Skull Island. Our new Kong attraction is going to be an integrated part of the studio tour. So as you're driving around the studio backlot, you are going to go into a soundstage and find yourself immersed in the jungles of Skull Island. 65 million years ago, when the dinosaurs died out, they didn't die out on Skull Island. It was the last refuge. We're creating another little corner of the island that we haven't seen before. Unbeknownst to us, we're being pursued by some pretty ferocious creatures. This story will be about coming back to Skull Island and coming back into Kong's world. The central idea of it, the attraction is a dinosaur attack on the tram, which is you know, pretty exciting. And we get to rock the tram backwards and forwards. And at different times, they're rolling over the top of the tram, and so you're going to feel these huge creatures bumping and, and the tram shuddering. This is taking it um, not just up to date, but out into the future of, of what this kind of immersive experience will be like. You're fully surrounded by this uh, gigantic 3D environment. So uh, once you're in, uh, there's no getting out. King Kong 360 3D, coming this summer to Universal Studios Hollywood. We're here live in Santa Monica, where residents of this gorgeous and normally serene seaside hamlet have woken up this morning with a rather big surprise. We were totally driving to work, and all of a sudden, this like thing, it like came out of the right side. Came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, like there was these big, huge footsteps that were just all over huge. the sand. It was and so big. It was like 15 really, really feet big. by like 15 feet. I tried really to swerve, and it's it. So scary. <laughs> So I was just coming out for my morning yoga and, and suddenly there's these giant footsteps everywhere and complete chaos. Heard. We held it. We were the rock here. Mm -hmm. We were it's the rock. It's good that we were around, I think. I know. Make sure people were okay. All of a sudden there were these, these big noises and I was... <sighs> because people were freaking out. Like, who wouldn't freak out? And what is he after and, and where is he going? And what is he? 
So the mystery grows as authorities and experts alike are asking themselves two very difficult questions. What created these footprints and what next? We're unlocking the secrets as we take you inside the making of King Kong 360 3D. With the sizable task of bringing this vision to life, Universal Creative had their work cut out for them. In order to pioneer the newest technologies inherent in King Kong 360 3D, attraction visionaries built a full-scale replica of the state-of-the-art attraction to test the advanced projection, audio systems, and special effects. When you're dealing with King Kong, there was really no way to scale down the experience to design it. We needed to design it full scale, so we're actually duplicating our efforts, designing a show in a space as big as we're going to have. Due to the sophisticated technology being developed for this thrill ride, creators utilized a secret location to house the high-tech geometrical puzzle. The giant mock test facility was housed in Hangar 15, a landmark of Hollywood history. From the building of Howard Hughes' Spruce Goose to now King Kong, the largest of productions have hidden inside the hangar walls. There's no theater in the world like it, so we had to actually build a replica so that we could play around. We're working with Weta Digital, who did all of the backgrounds and animation for the Kong film. We brought in the original sound designer for the film. He created the original voice of Kong, and he's now sitting with us in the space to hear what Kong's going to sound like in this new tram experience. Universal Studios Hollywood teamed with visual effects masterminds Weta Digital, the multi-academy award-winning company, to employ the latest technological 3D advancements. Here we're recreating as an entirely digital world, the world of Skull Island, for the first time. It's definitely pushing the envelope in terms of creating a piece or an environment or experience. I mean, and, and this is different from having to produce something that's going to be on a, a screen. Even though we've been doing projects in 3D, this is now where encompassing the audience completely 360 with all the environment. And it'll be like um, you're at Skull Island no matter which way you look. Yeah, OK, good. Good, good. Working on a movie, we always know where the people are looking. They're looking straight ahead. They're looking at the shot that we're working on. We can pick our camera to point exactly the little bit of action that we want them to look at. And here we can't do that. Where the people are sitting, this tram that's driving it along through Skull Island is where the camera's from. This ring represents the where the screen is 10 meters away. So we have to animate everything around it. We have to move our animation to the camera. We can't move our camera to the animation. With a project like the studio tour, the audience is in the middle of the environment. They're looking in all directions. There's creatures coming at them. They're seeing Kong from this side and T-Rexes from the other side. And so unlike working on something like a film where you're directing the audience's gaze to a specific part of, of the frame, here you have to take into account that people are looking in all directions and there's a different experience going on for different people in different parts of the, uh, the tram. Also one of the things about this ride that we're finding out, unlike the movies that we're used to working on, there's no cuts because it's one giant shot. What it works out to is that we're really creating about 50 minutes of a feature film. That amount of visual information, that number of pixels and presenting them to the audience, it's going to be a hell of a ride. To enhance the heart-thumping action of this landmark new attraction, Universal enlisted the skills of Park Road Post, the same award-winning team that created the original King Kong soundscape. The complexity of this multi-directional 22-channel, 60-foot-tall speaker system creates an action-packed realism that's beyond compare. Well, what we're doing with the Kong experience is taking that not just one step further, we are raising the bar for audio as far as we possibly can. The image is only telling half of the story. You add sound, you get, you get emotion, you get tension, you get excitement, you get spine-chilling, tense moments that really only can be created with that, that sound element. What my job is, is to bring that audience into the image into Skull Island and really make them feel a part of 
the whole experience. There are so many events that can happen on a screen that big that there's going to be a huge amount of immersive sound and you're going to have events that are happening across the screen that are all going to be supported with sound. You're going to be able to just experience the whole world of Skull Island with kind of you know, details everywhere. Our main focus and our desire is that we are, we're not just shocking an audience, we're actually ex making them experience the emotion of, of Kong. The wonderful thing is it's three-dimensional, three-dimensional image, and we're probably 26-dimensional uh, sound. The technical aspects of this new attraction are, are, are very, very exciting. Um, you know, I'm not really aware of any other theme park attraction that's taken these various elements and combined them into one attraction, so that's really exciting. The Alliance of Hollywood's leading visual effects and sound design teams took this mind-boggling idea not just to fruition, but into a reality that transports the epic King Kong into life. King Kong 363D, coming this summer to Universal Studios Hollywood. the secrets as we take you inside the making of King Kong 360 3D. You know, the challenges throughout, you know, the technical challenges, the creative challenges in terms of how do you really, you know, bring something like this to life, something as big as Kong to life in this big a format. We looked to 3D, but we couldn't do just any 3D. 3D's out there today. Uh, it's in movie theaters and everything. We had to bring the universal version of 3D. So we developed this complete and total immersion. Well, we're creating a theater that's never been done at this scale before, which is an immersive 3D environment that completely surrounds the tram. So it's not only new from an attraction standpoint and experience standpoint, it's also new for our tram experience. We're taking the tram to a place we've never been able to take it before. And here, we're actually able to immerse you inside a story. In order to house the largest, most intense 3D experience on the planet, Universal Studios Hollywood crews worked around the clock to construct the biggest soundstage in Universal history. The king-size facility is larger than a football field and over 70 feet tall. This mammoth undertaking was part of the most extensive backlot expansion in the studio's history. To add a heightened interactive dimension to the attraction, a first-of-its-kind tram mover system was created to work in synchronization with the film's intense action. Well, the motion that we can create with the motion bases underneath the tram itself coordinates with what's on the screen, and actually they can enhance each other. The tram itself um, that you've been riding around the park in is suddenly rising up in the air, leaning over, bumping up and down, all in synchronization with what's happening on the screen. So when the dinosaurs are banging into the tram or trying to push the tram over, you're literally, the tram is getting shoved and pushed around physically and you're feeling those effects. It's not a typical simulator, it's not hydraulic, it's actually air springs that will replicate the feeling of an actual tram being bumped around because you're being nudged by uh, dinosaurs, you know, you're being jumped on by Kong. 6,000 cubic feet of compressed air energizes the 85,000 pound tram to roll, pitch, undulate, and vibrate, elevating the thrill beyond imagination. Adding in visceral special effects escalates the immersive sensation to the next level. We're also taking it to the more interactive levels beyond just the move movement of the tram. We really wanted to augment the experience and enhance you feeling like you're in this space, so we put a ton of effects. We're going to have air cannons, we're going to have scent cannons, we've got water effects. We're really trying to create the experience of being on Skull Island. The audience are going to be surrounded by an incredibly high-resolution copy of Skull Island. The environment. 
the creatures to a level that I think we're really pushing um, realism to a level that we just are unable to do in a film environment. This unmatched visual imagery creates a riveting theme park experience. Installation of the massive projection systems was no minor undertaking. It takes not one, not 10, but 16 high definition projectors simultaneously linked, projecting at an unprecedented high rate of 60 frames per second to create this experience. Dynamic storytelling infused with progressive film technology and revolutionary special effects, all timed to seamless synchronized movements and encompassed within a fully surrounded 3D environment, has created an overwhelming spectacle for the guest. This incomparable theme park ride of epic proportions is Universal Studios Hollywood's most ambitious project yet. That was the intention going in, to create an enormously spectacular and immersive 3D experience. We're very confident that it's the largest, most intense 3D experience on the planet. King Kong 360 3D, coming this summer to Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, we're trying to use 3D to, to create an immersive experience so that when you're on the ride, it feels like you've entered Skull Island in Kong's domain. What 3D does is it mimics the way our eyes see, so it gives you that spatial presence, that feeling that you can look around you and, and, and there's a whole world around you. And when you're in an environment like this, you can't because there's a world all around you, so that's what's great about it. So everything has to play continuously. Everything that's happening on the right side happens on the left side. In other words, you're in the middle of this world. You're not looking at one little piece a moment at a time. It, it continuously unfolds in front of you with you in the middle of it. There's layers and layers of detail that go into creating all these images. And what we've done here is just done that on a grand scale so that it's all around you. It's cool, it's, it's really great. Our new Kong attraction is going to be an integrated part of the studio tour. So as you're driving around the studio backlot, you are going to go into a sound stage and find yourself immersed in the jungles of Skull Island. 65 million years ago when the dinosaurs died out, they didn't die out on Skull Island. It was the last refuge. The central idea of the attraction is a dinosaur attack on the tram which is you know, pretty exciting. And we get to rock the tram backwards and forwards. At different times, they're rolling over the top of the tram, and so you're gonna feel these huge creatures bumping and, and the tram shuddering, all in synchronization with what's happening on the screen. So when the dinosaurs are banging into the tram or trying to push the tram over, you're literally, the tram is getting shoved and pushed around physically, and you're feeling those effects. We're very confident that it's the largest, most intense 3D experience on the planet. Um, that was the intention going in, to create an enormously spectacular and immersive 3D experience, and um, we're pretty confident we've done that. huge dinosaurs, car starts shaking, people are screaming. It's a totally different sensory experience. You're really in it, it's cool. King Kong, when he jumped on the tram, it felt like he literally jumped on. And you see the dinosaurs coming at you, the wind coming at you, it's like, this is awesome. It's like surround sound for your eyes. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like you're right there in the jungle with them. It's very real. Peter Jackson really took you to Skull Island. So it was like all the way around you, they had 3D. And because it was 3D, it felt like it was jumping out of you. And you're like bouncing, you don't know where to look. It's just intense. It felt like I was actually in the movie. There's so much to see, I would write it again and again and again. It's 360, it's in your face. Like King Kong's over here, there's dinosaurs over here. Crazy killer fun, I love it. It's fun for everyone. <laughs>